one month ago, after spending three months on carnivore, I had a single day, a single day that I gave in to eating ice cream. Peggy and I bought a half gallon of ice cream. Over the weekend, I ate the whole thing. And I say me because Peggy had a little bit, but I ate most of it. Since then, I've gained seven pounds. I've become lethargic. I've got the shooting pain back in my foot because that ice cream set off a trigger of events where the next thing I thought, well, let's add some protein bars back in. Then I added back in some low-carb tortillas. And I honestly believe that net carbs is nothing but a marketing tool. In other words, there's 12 carbs here, but 10 of them are fiber. So therefore, they don't digest the same way. And you can eat those and count it as two. Well, every time I test that, it absolutely does not work. If I eat 12 carbs, I'm getting 12 carbs and my blood sugar reacts accordingly. Because not only did I gain those seven pounds, but I also blew my blood sugar up again. In 30 days, I'm having anywhere from 110 to 130 fasting blood sugar, which for me is really high. My goal is to keep it under 110. Why did I allow it to happen? Anxiety, needless worry, things that I shouldn't have been worrying about because none of them happened. None of them would happen. It's amazing how I can beat myself up and reach for food. And here, after three months, three months of eating completely clean on carnivore, I screwed up. I screwed up. And it's so insidious. You unwind the spool a little bit and you let out a little bit of line and then you let out a little more line. And then eventually there's no line left in the spool and you've got yourself right back to where you were. Well, today I'm back on. I absolutely refuse to let my health deteriorate because of anxiety, anxiety that is false, that's not even real. I'm asking you to step back and look at your life. I'm kind of on the theme of anxiety now. And if you listen to another podcast I recently released, you will see that uh, anxiety, needless worry, affects many of us. Definitely me. Try to deal with that. I mean, how important is your health to you? Or do you just not believe you're going to get sick? Do you not believe you're going to be a diabetic or get cancer or whatever that we're preventing by eating clean, by exercising, by moving. What is it? What is it? Figure it out. The number of people who are obese, who are happy with being obese, blows me away because obesity is one of the leading comorbidities of everything, of every disease out there. So please, I will never fat shame you. I will defend you as long as the day is. But as somebody I really care about, really care about, I want you to lose the weight, to get fit, trim, and to be healthy. And I'm sorry, being 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 pounds overweight is not healthy. I'm just not going to accept that for you. I can't. I cannot. I won't shame you, but I'm going to beg you as a friend of mine to stop eating the way you're eating, to get control of your life, to make exercise and movement a daily habit that just becomes natural. When you do that, your life is going to change. I really believe, I mean, I can't predict anything. I really believe that if you move every day, if you eat well, if you breathe deeply, if you hydrate, that you're going to live a long, fit, healthy, happy life. I've researched it for years, and it's the people that follow those simple tenets who absolutely live life to the fullest every day, every day until their very last day. Move well, stay healthy, be happy, live with passion, and join me. Please, please, please join me on this journey of health, fitness, and happiness.